Batang Manduno, Home Learning Partners, Parents, Teachers, welcome to Project SOAR for Quarter 2. Project SOAR is a series of online academic reviews of mathematics grade learning modules and we are now on the Quarter 2. And this week, we are going to have a review for senior high school mathematics, particularly on general mathematics. So, bago tayo mag-start, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel, MPM channel, at i-like ang ating video. I-share na rin ito sa inyong mga friends at sa inyong mga kakilala na nahihirapan sa general mathematics dahil siguradong sigurado papadali ang inyong buhay pag pinanood ninyo ang Project Soar Linggo Linggo. Ang ating reviewer para sa General Mathematics Week 2 ay Teacher 3 ng mataas na paaral ng Neftali A. Gonzalez. Siya ay isa sa mga presenter mula sa SDO Mandaluyo sa nakaraang 25th Asian Technology Conference in Mathematics sa Thailand. Isa siyang researcher at isa siyang mathematician. Mga batang manduno, pasalubungan natin ng masigabong palakpakan ang ating reviewer para sa General Mathematics Week 2, Mr. Ryan J. C. Verbo. Good morning, sir. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Mabuhay and welcome again to our Project SOAR, a series of online academic review in mathematics. Um, today, um, it is my task to give you a review for General Mathematics Second Quarter in Week 2 using the Glide Learning Module. My name is Ryan J.C. Verbo, a teacher from Mataas na Paalang na Tadiye Gonzalez. Um, our topic for today is about maturity, future value, and present value at compound interest. Pagkatapos ng araling ito, um, we shall be able to compute maturity or future value and present value of compound interest. Uh, before anything else, let us define particular terms that we will be able to encounter for the rest of our discussion in business mathematics, not only for this particular topic. First, is the origin or loan date. Date on which money is received by the borrower. Repayment date or maturity date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be complete, completely repaid. Time or term, amount of time in years the money borrowed or invested. It is always expressed in years. Principal amount or sometimes known as the origin amount, the invested amount or the amount of money borrowed on the origin date. Then we have the rate, annual rate, usually it is in percentage and it was charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. Frequency of conversion, this, it is the number of conversion periods in one year. Conversion or interest period is the time between successive conversions of interest. The interest here is the amount paid or earned for the use of money. Compound interest it is a type of interest risk compounded on the principal and also on the accumulated cost interests. Maturity value or future value, it is, it is the amount at 30 years that the lender receives from the borrower or on the maturity date. In other words, it is the expected amount of payment uh, that will be receiving by the lender coming from the borrower on the maturity date. So let us illustrate maturity value or future value uh, and compound interest. So the general rule in computing future value or maturity value of compound interest, we got here F is equal to P, quantity 1 plus R raised to T. P is the principal or the present value and F is the uh, future value 
or the maturity value at the end of the term r is the interest rate expressed in 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 uh decimal form and then t term or time in years okay the compound interest is given also by this formula i sub c is equal to f minus p where f again is the future value and p is the principal amount or the present value let's have this illustrative example find the maturity value and the compound interest if 15,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2.5% in three years. Now, in this particular example, we wanted to know the future value and the compound interest of 15,000 of 15, with an interest rate of 2.5% due in three years. So, this already given. Our 15,000 year is the, uh, is the present value or the principal. R is equal to 2.5% or the interest rate is the 2.5% or 0.025. T is equal to 3 years. So we are to find for the maturity value F and compound interest. Now let us first uh, determine, compute for the matur maturity value F. Uh, with the formula, using the formula F is equal to P, quantity 1 plus R raised to T. All we have to do is to substitute the given. Therefore, that's 15,000 times quantity 1 plus 0 0.025 raised to 3. Okay? So, adding 1 and 0 0.025, we got 1.025 and then raise it by 3. That is 1.076890625 and then multiply it by 15,000. Therefore, our maturity value or the future value at the end of three years with the interest rate of 2.5 percent is 16,153.36 now uh, solving for the compound interest we will be using i sub c is equal to f minus p okay wherein we all know we were able to compute the value for F, that is 16,153.36 minus the given present value or principal versus 15,000. Therefore, the compound interest is equal to 1,153.36. Another example here, suppose your father deposited in your bank account 10,000 at an annual interest rate of 0.5% compounded yearly when you graduate from kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finish grade 12. How much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? So let us identify first the given. 10,000 is actually the present value or the principal amount. 0.5% is the rate or the interest rate divided by 100 we got 0 0.005 while 12 years is our term or t now we are defined for the maturity value f or the future value so in finding the maturity value with this particular example we will be using again this formula f is equal to b quantity 1 plus r raised to t then substitute all the given it's f is equal to 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to 12. adding 0 0.005 to 1 we got quantity 1.005 that's raised to 12 i'm sorry that's raised to 12. okay so we got here uh one point 0.61677812 times 10,000. Therefore, the future value or the maturity value is 10,616.78. Now, let us illustrate the present value P at compound interest. This is the general rule. That P is equal to F all over 1 plus R quantity P or 
we can also derive it from f quantity 1 plus r raised to negative t, where p is the present value or the principal amount, f is the maturity or the future value at the end of the term, r is the interest rate, and t is the term for time in years. Let's have this illustrative example. What is the present value of 100,000 due in five years if money is worth 7.5% compounded annually? What are the given? Given F is equal to 100,000, our interest rate is equal to 7.5% or 0 0.075, while P is equal to five years. And we are to find for our P. To identify the value for our present value P, we will be using P is equal to F quantity 1 plus R raised to negative T, or we can also use P is equal to F all over 1 plus R raised to T. So to substitute the given, that's 100,000 times quantity 1 plus 0 0.75 raised to negative 5. Adding 0 0.075 by 1, that's 1 0.075 raised to negative 5. And 1.075 raised to negative 5 is equal to 0 0.6965, 58, 60, 63, and 2 times 100. Therefore, the present value is equal to 69,655.86. Second example, let's have this. How much money should a student place in a time deposit in a bank that pays 1.1% compounded annually so that he will have 200000 after six years? Given, we have 200000 as our future value. Our rate here is 1.1% divided by 100, so we got 0 0.011. Well, P or our term here is equal to six years. So we are defined for the present value. In finding the present value for this particular example, we will be using again this formula. P is equal to F, quantity 1 plus R raised to negative 10. So substitute the values or the given. We got 200,000 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.011 raised to negative 6. Adding 0 0.011. 2 1, that's 1.011 raised to negative 6, and then we got 0 0.9364, 68269. Multiply it by 200,000. Therefore, the present value is equal to 187,293.65. By references, general mathematics learners' material. From the Department of Education, pages 144 to 150. Thank you and mabuhay. Again, my name is Ryan Verbo and Happy New Year, everyone.